looks like the guy from Back to the Future. <laughs> kind of looking around very carefully. If there is another one. I'm not so sure if there is or not. I don't think there is. I'm gonna save. That sounds like a drug dealer. Got some good stuff, you want some? Mystery liquid. Old bell. Worn pillow. Rage sack. <laughs> ah, the rage sack. Push the button and it'll scream obscenities. Great for parties. <laughs> Who's buying all this? I don't think I need any of this. You need them for making like shit, so that's the reason why I'm buying them. I'll put them in my inventory later. Little shad. Hmm. Uh, I got Jack stretch. Oop, got a text. That's from Mac. Kazuma, I think I'm closing to getting the perfect shot. Tomagacho Chikikayo. Sorry, but something tells me I'm going to beat you to the punch. Anyway, I want to tell you about some new info that I, that I just got from a friend. There's a ninja in Kamarucho. This lady's handing out packs of tissue on Naka. Michi Street. It's like a scene out of a samurai flick. I just know she's a ninja master. It's tough to shoot a ninja in action, but Gani Bate Ne. Now, that is one of my favorite people that you can do the whole uh, take a picture thing with. Mm. Ah. Seeing how. Um, What was I gonna say? Seeing how uh, she she gives you like the coolest special out of all the specials yeah. you can learn. At least to me, it's like the coolest. Where am I going? I'm supposed to take Ricky at home. Sorry. I don't think there's anything else for me to do with him. See if we can go play some activities before I send them off. Oh, heck no. <laughs> I don't need no more damn activities. Get your ass home. Take this taxi to the airport, Rikia. Boss! Ah! Don't worry about me. You take care of Nakahara and the kids. We don't know who our enemy is yet. Looks like we're dealing with more than just the Toho clan. Nakahara might still be in danger. And with him in the hospital, both the Ryuto family and the kids have only you to rely on. They're counting on you, Rikia. I understand, boss. Leave it to me. I'll see you later. Be careful. I will. I should be home soon. Okay, let's see. Kiryu Kazuma Dana. Who's this? Soda. Anta. Boy, Tamiya. Tamiya. That old man. Well, that's that's one. That's not canon. So the the whole zombie apocalypse thing never really happens in the Yakuza universe. That's like a 
side alternate thing going on there. Uh, so there's actually no zombie apocalypse happening. そう何の ジドだと。ジドだと。ジドだと。ジドだと。ジドだと。ジドだと。ジドだと。ジドだと。ジドだと。ジドだと。ジドだと。ジドだと。ジドだと。ジドだと。ジドだと。ジドだと。ジドだ
You look like you would be a good subject. Come on, then. Hand over 100,000 yen. I'm not giving you money for no reason. What are you selling for 100,000 yen? An experience, my friend. An experience you could go your entire life without having. You look like you could handle it. <laughs> but it's a battle you'll never be able to win without mental toughness. If you're confident in your strength, give me 100,000 yen. Should I pay him? Yeah, yeah. I'm kinda rich in this game, so. It's Yakuza 3, the best PS3 game. Uh, one of the best PS3 games to ever be created in the world of worlds. You're my first customer since I came here. What's your name? Kazuma Kiryu. Kiryu, eh? My name is Minamide. Min Mina? Minamida. Minamida. It wasn't so long ago that people recognized the name Dr. Minamida. Never heard of you. Sorry. Well, never mind. Shall we get started? What? Hey, this isn't the experience you were talking about, is it? No. You've never seen anything like it. Believe me. Hey, you. I hear you're selling something here. Do you know who's trying... <laughs> Do you know whose territory this is? <laughs> so like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> You're selling something pretty expensive. What we hear, what is it anyway? Hmm? I'm afraid that a trade, that's a trade secret. I can't tell you unless you pay. Yeah, right. We're here to smash that trade secret of yours. Unless you want to start paying us protection money, that is. Hmm. Pay? With what? I've lost everything, except what you see right here. <laughs> but I'm going to make you some money soon, hopefully. If it works out, I'll be more than happy to pay you. If it works out, that is. Huh? What the hell are you talking about? We'll teach you not to talk bullshit like that in our territory. So... Wait, wrong voice. So, whose territory is this? None your business, old man. None your business. <laughs> if you know what's good for you, you won't be sticking your nose in where it doesn't belong. I don't plan to. I'm just asking whose territory it is. What's it to you? Fine, whatever. This is the territory of the Shirigari family, a branch of the Toe clan. Everybody knows us around here. What's wrong? Too scared to talk now? Never heard of them. Just a minute, old man. We've been pretty nice up till now, but you're pushing it. I have no desire to remember the names of families that use violence to terrorize innocent people. Anyway, this man promised me an experience like I've never had before, and this certainly isn't it. What the hell are you two... What the hell are the, the two of you yapping about? I've had enough. Let's kick both their asses. Well, if, if you think Grand Theft Auto 4 is the you best game you've played on the PS3, you haven't played a lot of PS3 games. Can I get that baseball bat, please? Ah! Let me get the back. And, uh, my light suit. I just bought this. Hey, you can't do that to us. You have any idea what kind of trouble you got yourself into? That's a question I should be asking you. I don't have any patience for idiots who don't even know their own organization. Uh... What are you... an executive of the Toll Clan or something? Um, never mind. No need to answer that. We'll just disappear. It'll be like we were never here. Just let us go, please? That sounds like a good idea. Get the hell out of my face. I suppose I should thank you. That's alright. I do that kind of thing every day. Now, what's this experience you've been talking about? 
Allow me to introduce myself properly. As I said, my name is Minamita. In the world of video games, the name Dr. Minamita is somewhat well known. I guess it doesn't mean anything in this city though. Until last month, I was running a small game development company. It used to be a grounding business, growing, I said grounding, growing business, developing games like YF6. YF6, I played that game. So what's this machine? This machine is Inner Fighter 7. The ultimate arcade machine, it's a prototype, the only one in existence. An arcade machine? It would have been in arcades nationwide. So this experience is a video game? <laughs> in a way, yes. But this is a game unlike any you've ever ex played. I almost said experience. What's different about it? With this machine, players play the game inside the brain. It uses cutting edge technology and special electromagnetic waves to make you feel like you're actually in the game, fighting enemies. You can really do that? If that were possible, it would be the discovery of the century. And not just for the gaming world either. Huh. Very perceptive. You're quite right about that. It's indeed a major discovery, but it's not without its problems. Problems? It seems that only people who have actually experienced physically fighting for their lives are able to conjure up suitable opponents. Once I tried testing on a high school student, but he ended up facing a 50-foot fire-breathing dragon and he ran home crying. <laughs> And there was someone else who accused me of using hypnosis to trick him. That's why I can't get anyone to recognize how amazing this is. So. So. Wrong voice. So. You couldn't sell it and went bankrupt, eh? Well, that was part of it. But the main reason was something else. Meaning? Oh, I think we've talked enough about me. Do you want to try your hand at this machine? Okay, I'll try it. You said you fight on a daily basis, so I'm sure you'll be able to make a good opponent appear. I can't wait to see what happens. Now, then, please sit down. <coughs> Here we go. Okay. There's still a little, a lot to. <laughs> we have to enter your name on the entry screen. What was it you said your name was again? Kazuma Kiryu. That's K I R Y U, correct? All right then. From what I can tell, a player's health in IF7 depends on what level their soul is. If your soul hasn't been trained enough, you can't tell how much health your enemy has, so don't forget to train your soul. Alright, let's do this. Game start. Really? <laughs> Like it straps you in like it's a damn electric chair. It's gonna kill you. So this is the portion. It, it turns into like an arcade game. Apparently my soul's not high enough because I can't see his health. So it's like fighting normally. It basically... Gives you the ability to redo fights that you had with uh, all the main bosses. But, uh. It does a little twist and does like an arcade style where they get like bigger or there'll be like multiple ones or they teleport and stuff like that. Cheating stuff. I wasted so much money on this thing the first time I did it. Because it's like 10,000 each time. Hopefully I'm close to killing him. Yep, he pulled out his brass knuckles. Giving it to me. Yeah, suck 
it to me. Sock it to you. <laughs> So, you know, the cool part about this is, like, once you do them, you unlock, like, new specials. And they're, they're usually, like, really cool specials. They're not, like, bullcrappy specials. <coughs> mm. So now I have the ability to use brass knuckles. So now I can go out and buy some brass knuckles if I wanted to and use them as weapons. And brass knuckles are my favorite, some of my favorite uh, melee weapons that you can get. Yeah, I think this game might help me learn some new moves. I'd like to keep using it in the future, if you don't mind. <laughs> I see, I see. Very good. The next time you want to play, I'll only charge you 10,000 yen. I hope you see you. I hope to see you a lot from now on. From 100,000 yen to 10,000? That's a pretty big discount. What's the story? It's simple. In all this time, you're the only person who's been able to play the game in a proper manner. If I make it cheaper, you'll want to play again, right? I can't pass up this chance to finally test my machine. I see. I guess our interests overlap then. I'll definitely be back. Alright, I'll be waiting. Oh, just a minute. You have to tell me your email address. I'll contact you if any new develops. Anything new develops. Okay, here you go. Beep boop. Throw me a text. So, <laughs> he's over here smoking. Um... So, uh, he, he sends you a text message or whatever every time there's a new person to fight. And basically, you're fighting people that are, uh, let me level up my soul. You're fighting people that are main boss fights in the game in an arcade fashion. And it's really cool. Oh, I need, like, one more level to get my, uh, soul up one more level. I'll try the next one. So, Lethal Warrior was the first one. Greedy Giant is Kanda. One-Eyed Demon is uh, Majima. And Avenging Demon is the... What's his name? Lao Ka Long. The, the Chinese guy. So, fighting the same person over and over gives you no type of stuff. So... You're basically just supposed to go down the list. If you refight one of the other ones you already did, it's pointless. So you're just pretty much wasting money fighting the same uh, opponent. So now I'm hoping I can see their health bar now because I raised my soul up like two levels. There we go. Now I'm fighting Conda. Little bitch. Can I get a move? He's pretty easy to fight. It's just like every time you kill one, a bigger one comes out. And the, <laughs> he gets tougher each time. Oh my god! Fucking cheating fat piece of shit. I hate his attacks, because all his attacks stun you. And I missed him. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't use specials or anything like that in the arcade version. Fuck you. I'm taking this.
I have no idea what that means. <laughs> the nuts <laughs> trying to remember which one was the hardest one I think it was the dragon of Dejima that was the hardest where you fight yourself and fighting yourself is just horrible and Kazuma is super strong I win I win what did I learn essence of Goriki grab an enemy and press triangle Level up, sweet. If I can pause the game. Well, let me pause. Oh, yeah. Put my soul up again. Okay, let's do the next one. Demon. I love the special that you get from uh, from Majima. Just it gives you a reason to smoke a cigarette all the time. to get to it. to fight once you figure out what to do. Come on, come on, come on. Fuck, come on. <laughs> Fuck. Yes. <laughs> Wait a second. Yes, yes, yes. To the nearest woo. nearest save and then save the map.
I should check the lock. Wait, first... I completely forgot I had all this crap in my inventory. Now I'm gonna go check the lockers. Let's see what I get. Piss Mountain Stone. Toughness Emperor. Top quality charcoal. Unorthodox weapons guide. Comfy souls. Toughness infinity. Taranor maximum. I didn't even know they go that high. Charismatic photo. <laughs> That's a random. Wonder what that does. Charisma ring. Stamina and spark. I guess this photo is supposed to attract people to the holder. Um, okay. It doesn't do anything. Like, what's the point of these? Am I, like, more sexy now? Uh, I'm gonna end it here. This has been a lot of uh, equipment. Not equipment. <laughs> a lot of. Ah, what's the word? I don't know. A lot of stuff. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to subscribe. Uh, check out my other Let's Play videos if you want. This has been Masamaki21. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.